how comes many of us walk powerless some of you the greatest miracle you can have tonight is to receive power because the thing that is going on in your family is an exercise of a kind of power keeping you in bondage even you know that there is some kind of authority of the kingdom of darkness holding you bow while you try to lift up your head they push you again you try they push you again you know that this one now let me talk is a power but the bible says, and ye shall receive power after the holy ghost has come but i'm sure the holy ghost already upon you why don't you have power if you don't have the holy ghost i will make two altar call tonight brief in the next five minutes the first one is for those that want to receive the holy ghost because you cannot receive the power of god until the holy ghost come upon you it's not possible do you know why for any power to function it requires a spirit to function there is no power that functions without a spirit anytime you see a power at work a spirit is backing the power influence so for the power of god to work in your life the spirit of god must be at work in your life that's why the bible says and ye shall receive power after it is an error for a believer that have the holy ghost not to have power but it is a normal thing for a believer that does not have the holy ghost not to have power and when a believer is powerless another power will suppress him another power will oppress him another power will torment him another power will cause you sickness another power will cause you all kinds of things you can imagine but by the time you are given the power of god now you can rebel now you can fight it takes power to fight is that not true if i want to beat you you too you need to exercise yourself imagine in the realm of the spirit you don't have any weapon of war you don't have any power how do you want to fight the devil you wonder why you are beggarly but the problem is this you cannot just appear when the devil say i can do no you must be able to realize you need the holy ghost which then gives you power to fight against the devil I will say, I will give you power to tread upon snakes and scorpions and by no enemies that they shall hurt you. That means there is a power that God gives you to be able to tread upon them. If you are not given the power, if you try it, it will kill you. Snakes and scorpions, they can bite. But when you are giving power over them, what do you do? You tread upon them. Acts chapter 1 verse 8, and ye shall receive power. The greatest miracle some of us may have this night is oh god give me your power when moses appeared before pharaoh he was talking english it was when he began to demonstrate power that pharaoh understood maybe what is causing the delay in your life maybe what is causing the disappointment maybe what is causing that attitude maybe what is causing all kinds of things going on is a kind of influence of power for you to rebel against it you need another kind of power so this night is what you must cry and say oh god release it upon me Act 10, verse 38. Then we pray. Act 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For what? For God was with him. So it was evident that anyone that carried the power of God, I bet you, is not supposed to be oppressed. It's not supposed to be under any demonic oppression. If you are, it's because you have not exercised the power. When you begin to exercise the power, you break out of the chain. All of us are born out of causes, born out of patterns. See, all of us went through what we went through. I am also born from a village that which is a wizard. How come some of us rebel? It's by the enablement of power. The Bible said, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed if your faith can carry it after this night you will go and be a miracle worker if your faith can carry it after this night you will go about doing good you can go back home and say mommy you are not supposed to be sick you will lay hands and pray for her and say she should be healed why because immediately when you carry the power of god it breaks the chains inside of you so that you cannot be able to deliver others but at this point some of you the prayer you have to pray is oh god let your power come upon me and break any chains of the oppression of the devil around me let me ask you a question that oppression in your life how does it bring god glory no i believe you feel it's the will of god if god wants to heal me you heal me see the bible says since from the days of john the baptist now the kingdom of god suffered a violence 
only the violent take it by force there are some things you must engage by force don't say if it will happen let it happen it may never happen i realize until we are deliberate about nothing may happen some things don't just happen like that and jacob wrestled with an angel if jacob wrestled with an angel i will wrestle with angel and men and everything if i have to wrestle with god i will wrestle with god oh god don't leave me like this do something the hell is garment i will not let you go until you bless me a woman press and so until i touch the hem of his garment she pushed again a man shouted son of david have mercy on me they say keep quiet he shouted them all are you desperate for a miracle are you desperate i mean you are waiting for a doctor to say you have two days believe are you desperate enough i realize that when we get desperate we get the result when they tell you remaining one day to drive you out remaining two days that's when you know there is no longer hope so long as men have hope men are lazy when there is no more hope they wake up don't wait until doctors give their final verdict don't wait until that will kill you deal with it right now you are giving the privilege of time to deal with it now jesus told the apostles wake up and pray they said no oh they were waiting they were waiting they were waiting when the time came they begin to pray jesus says too late don't pray now the time has already passed now is the time to attack it you felt a little growth around your body don't say it's okay now is the time to lay hands on it every time i say growth disappear don't wait until it become a cancer no if goliath was key when he was small he will never challenge israel but they will make mistake allow goliath grow when he became very tall all of them are afraid there are many goliaths in your life if you don't kill them now tomorrow they will stand so strong although you are older than them in age but they are bigger than you in stature everything may look small you can easily kill it when it grows you are in trouble now is the time to silence that fear now is the time to silence that oppression now is the time to silence that thing. doctors give you a little report saying a lie small small headache way they feel every day it is a symptom for something bigger say oh god let this thing not happen the bible says god so care about us he so care if god so care this thing should not be there but like i said you will need power to tread upon snakes and scorpions nobody do this thing by himself nobody the bible is speaking said it shall come to pass when the people shall be willing the days of thy power he said through the greatness of thy power will the enemy submit themselves to 